let's talk about RGB lighting. Today, it continues to be all the rage, and it can really help spice up not only your talking head for YouTube videos, but also your product B-roll videos by adding that extra pop to your background. Now, there are many ways you can go about doing this, like using a pocket light like the Falcon Ice F7, you can actually use a panel light that has RGB settings as well, or you can even use RGB tube lights. But today, I'm gonna show you a very cheap and easy way to do this by using the new Godox CL10 lights. Coming in at a price point of around $65 US, these LED lights have a 10 watt output with a max illumination of around 1100 lux. You can choose from around 36,000 colors as well as the standard color temperatures, and there are 39 different effects modes you can choose from. They can be powered by USB-C type adapter for continual usage, so you never have to worry about the battery dying, and they have an excellent cooling design to help dissipate the heat when using them for hours on end. Also, they can easily be controlled by remote control or even by the company Godox app, where you can pair multiple lights and set up different scenes so they can work together with ease. So the main use case for these lights in my eyes will be for your product videos and for your YouTube set. Let's start with product B-roll. As I'm sure you know, there are plenty of ways in which you could light product shots, and I've actually done a video on this in the past, so you can watch it by clicking the little card right up here, but I'll still show you a quick and easy setup right now. So we start by setting up our key light higher up and aiming down at our tabletop surface with our softbox and grid on. This will provide a more top-down lighting look while still being at a bit of an angle, which could cast some nice shadows. I know a lot of people like to go with a complete overhead lighting look for something like this, which I do like doing as well, but I really do like it when it is higher up and still at a bit of an angle. Now, this is a great look as it is on its own, but there's a few things we can do if we want to change it up a bit. If we don't want it to be as moody, we can actually play around with adding a bit of a fill light on the opposite side of the key light. Now, you can use another light dimmed right down or just use a whiteboard to bounce the light in there. Then, sometimes I like to add a bit of a back or rim light at the back opposite corner from the key light. This just adds a nice extra bit of separation from your background. So normally I might add something like a portable pocket light like the Falcon IS F7, but this is where the new Godox CL10 lights come in. After we have our key light and fill it the way we want, we can use one or two of these Godox lights to add that extra bit of pop to our scene. So if you're shooting on a backdrop, you can aim them at the background to create a colored background, which can either be a solid color or mixed colors. You can also keep the background the way it is and shine these lights from the side and behind away from the background toward the product. Like I mentioned earlier, we can either use one on one side or choose two different colors by using two lights on opposite sides of each other to get this really cool rim of color. Even if you're not shooting at a backdrop, you can still rim your products with these colored lights to have them pop off the background of your shots. This is a super simple setup, but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Jumping to the second use case, these lights are absolutely fantastic for lighting up your YouTube set for when you make YouTube videos or when you're streaming. Using the same principles as before, you want to light yourself with the key light the way you like and add any other filler room you might want, and then you can easily throw a couple of these on the background to give it that great RGB look. Since you can choose from thousands of colors, you can get any color combination you want to match your overall branding and look. So I just have a few quick tips here for you if you wanna get the best looking colored lights on your background. So normally I use a black backdrop for my background here, and it's not paper, it's actually a fabric material. So I find that that actually absorbs a lot of light and color, so it doesn't actually pick up that color. So I did try lighting up my normal background with these lights, and it didn't really pick up the color all that well. So it was really hard to kind of tell what colors I had set for the background. But if you use a neutral gray backdrop, and specifically a paper material, that actually works a lot better. You can get almost any color you want, because the gray does a really great job of actually picking up that color. So as you can see back here, I've got the blue and the pinky purple hues, and it's really coloring it really nicely. So that is very easy to achieve if you have a gray background. So keep that in mind. White walls are also great for this as well. They'll just be a little bit of a brighter look. So you can get creative with any backdrop you have, no matter what it is. Just make sure it's not super dark because it might not pick up the colors as well. So as you can see, the Godox CL10 lights do a fantastic job of helping make your videos pop and making them look so much better for your YouTube videos, for your product B-roll shots, and for so many other use cases. So if you are interested in checking them out, you can check out the link in the description down below. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and found something useful here. So if you did like it, don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe to stay in the loop of when I post new videos. There's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. As always, I'm Alex Perry. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.